top of this beautiful morning to now my people you are welcome to another episode of our cd hot newspaper headline for today will be the third day of the month of march 2022 we go start from the time daily times newspaper and today now thursday but before we commence please if you never subscribe to my channel please click on the subscribe button and press on the notification bell so anytime we are drop any new video any new gossip any new gist or informate now you could be the first to like share and subscribe Moving on from the Daily Times newspaper, my people, Nigeria heading towards collapse, Jega warns. NLC demands criminalization of non-payment of salaries. Now for page 2 of Daily Times newspaper, now go find that information this morning. And constitution review, women protest rejection of affirmative action bills. These are many more to read. We grab the Daily Times newspaper for today, will be Thursday. Moving on straight to the Nigerian News Direct, my people. Ukraine-Russian war. Federal government to spend $8.5 million to airlift over 5,000 Nigerians. As first batch from Ukraine arrives Nigeria today. Fidelity Bank to celebrate International Women's Day with community-driven proposition. Sonwolu, infrastructure delivery in Etiosa, a top priority in our plan. And Federal Executive Council approved 3.523 billion Naira for aviation equipment in Lagos, Abuja and Kano. Nigeria in process of total collapse. Now, Jega Tokam. Moving on straight to the Daily Sun newspaper. The big headline will now go find there be Russia and Ukraine war. Trapped Nigerians arrive as Buhari approved $8.5 million for airlifting. Airpiece Max Air confirmed evacuation. NNPC Limited deb debuts in July. Now, Kiari Tokam. Labor to float new party challenges APC and PDP. 2023 will make or man Nigeria. Jega warns. PDP will improve national economy and quality of life from 2023. Now, Wiki Tokam. And Christian Shade of Nigeria don't express fears about 2023 election, says unabating security threats. Moving on straight, even to the Daily Trust newspaper this morning, petrol scarcity to linger as cargo stranded. Filling stations sell above 200 naira per liter and crude oil hit $112 per barrel. Ukraine invasion. Buhari approves 3.5 billion naira to evacuate 85,000 Nigerians. APC. Northern Central. Governors meet with Almakuri, Almakura over consensus. And four crises hit airlines as passengers suffer delays and cancellation. Special parliamentary seat. Women Affairs Minister blast National Assembly. Moving on straight to this day newspaper. Convention, APC set to rule, appoint Abdurazak, zoning committee chairman. Lawan asks Buhari to forward PIA amendment bill to National Assembly. And also, women protest over constitutional review, alleged discrimination. Oil prices surges above $113 as OPEC keeps supply unchanged. Nigeria gets 1.735 million BPD allocation for April and petrol scarcity persists. Also moving on to the Nigerian Tribune this morning, international students dying by side of the road trying to flee Ukraine. Now reports Nain Tokam as Buaridon approved $8.5 million to evacuate 5,000 Nigerians from Ukraine. Mm, thank you. Niger government don't open mouth talks say over 200 terrorists killed in four days. Now for P29 of Nigerian Tribune now go find that informate this morning. Afeni Ferry Ohanese, MBF tackles National Assembly over Constitution Amendment. Also, concerning the ASU strike, student block Ibadan Akure Abuja Expressway. Federal government to open bid on national carrier March 8. Moving on straight to the national economy, Nigerian businesses to save 12 trillion naira annually from decentralized electricity supply as experts urges federal government and National Assembly to expedite action in breaking monopoly of NESI. MTN, Mafab joins race at 5G target 1 billion subscribers in 2022. NNPC, Dangote Fertilizers, other steel gas sale agreement. Moving on straight to the leadership newspaper, Russian Ukraine war. 200 Nigerians apply to join Ukrainian army as federal government evacuates 2,090 today. Now for page 4 of the leadership newspaper, we will find that information this morning. NNPC, Dangote Fertilizers, others still gas sale pact. 
First scarcity hits aviation sector as Jet A1 sells for 440 naira per liter. Concerning first subsidy, send PIA for amendment. Senate tells President Muhammadu Buhari. Moving on straight to the Punch newspaper this morning, invasion, Nigeria, 140 others vote against Russia and Ukraine to get $5.2 billion lifeline. Embassy sends Nigeria volunteer fighters list to Ukraine. Gender bill, no going back, says National Assembly, women feel. Nigerians suffering under reckless misrule of elites, Najiga Tokam. Ogun contractor kills girlfriend, right wife and commits suicide. Senate may pass revised budget next week. Another headline will not go find there. The federal government shifts consensus of four international airports to quarter two. Moving on straight to the nation newspaper this morning, Russian invasion of Ukraine. 115 Nigerians register in Abuja to join Ukrainian troops. Concerning the OAU student death, Otelia, six others arrived in Oshu to face trial. Federal government kicks off process of Kiari's extradition to United States. As Malami asks courts to OK request. Another headline be zoning crisis festers in APC. Another headline we're going to find moving on to the daily independence, my people. Nigeria currently governed by myopic leaders, Nigeria Tokam, and says a revolution may be necessary. Commission orders airline operators to halt airfare hike. And women protest National Assembly rejection of pro equality bill. Over 200 terrorists killed in the last four days. Now, Niger government, Opuma, Tokamu. And Russian invasion of Ukraine. Federal government here marks $8.5 million to evacuate Nigerians as first batch arrives today. Commuters grown as first scarcity bite harder. Moving on straight to the last headline for today will be New Telegraph. Nigeria needs $30 billion investment to meet energy demand. Persistent queues at fuel station. We now have 1.7 billion liters of fuel, says NNPC. And Buhari approves 3.536 billion naira for evacuation of 5,000 Nigerians from Ukraine. My people, now we I get for Nasi, the hot newspaper headline for today. Will be the third day in the month of March 2022. Be this. Please ensure share you day safe. Ensure say you day good and put a smile on somebody's face. Till I see you tomorrow, my people. Bye for now.